next week's time coach, Sean Sockle and Al Magazine. Since the Miami game, save for the Derby, you've had many multiple goal games and you've really not lost a game. What would you attribute that to? No, we analyzed uh, the Miami game, especially the second half. The first half in Miami was also very well. And uh, after Miami, then we had a um, good game against New England, uh, very good fighting against uh, DC United, and then was not a good performance in the Sturby game in, in New York City, but now in this week. Great, especially today, first half, I think uh, we were dominate in, in our ball position, and uh, we find a lot of good uh, moments in our build up uh, to come in the red zone, to come between the lines. And uh, so uh, the only thing is that we can make uh, more deep runs in the first half and uh, to create more situations. But the first half was very dominant and the second half was a great fight, great spirit from the whole team with the supporters here in our stadium. Um, this is then uh, important for us and uh, we have a clean sheet, first game of Aiden, uh, first game of Aiden O'Connor um, in, this, uh, in this season. So great fight, uh, two injuries. Um, in, in our back four with Noah and uh, Jemai, we will check them in the next days. But uh, yeah, I'm very proud of uh, of the team. I'm very proud of the supporter here because it was a very good week for all of us. Next, go to James. Thanks, Coach. Congrats on the win. Uh, it's not the first time we've seen the team have to see out a lead late in the game. Just any comments on the maturity of the group to be able to see out all three points tonight? Yeah, what I said is. Uh, we had some problems uh, beginning, uh, especially with Muriel, uh, his behavior in, uh, in, in some half spaces. And uh, but they have also a lot of quality, in a lot of good individual players uh, with the ball. Um, but I'm proud that we are have this fighting spirit, this mentality, and uh, then a clean sheet for for Carlos. This is uh, also very important for us that we can win then with one free kick situation, and uh, this is good to see that and to have this feeling to create these moments. And uh, yeah, I'm very satisfied today. Next, we go to Mateo. Good evening, coach. Congrats on the win. Thanks. Uh, as you mentioned, it was Aiden O'Connor's uh, MLS debut. Just want to know, uh, what were your thoughts on his performance tonight and what it went into the decision on his substitution? Thank you. Yeah, it was very simple, the, the, the decision, because uh, it's the only center back on the bench and uh, because Andres uh, was also out for, for today, this game. And um, yeah, he, he made big steps in his individual development um, since the first day uh, when he's uh, with us in our training session and uh, was good to see. Then um, I think it was 20 minutes, 25, 20, 15 minutes, and he made it very well. Um, first uh, couple of minutes uh, when we played the back four as a right center back, then later we, we changed uh, then uh, to the structure with three center backs and he made it very well. Next, we go to Vaz. Congrats on the win, coach. Uh, just wanted to ask you your thoughts on the team now being seven unbeaten. Uh, I know you don't like to look at the <laughs> results from last yeah, year. Yeah, the answer. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, what are just your thoughts on that? And also to add, JMI, he's now adding goals and assists to his game. What does it mean to you and your squad to now have him producing these kinds of numbers and be on the score sheet? Yeah, and... Uh, uh, yeah, don't forget without the preseason and uh, it's normal then to come in the rhythm that it it needs then uh, also time for him individual but now he's in a very good spot um, to join our attacking situations as a left uh, fullback which we need on the side and uh, also in, in this um, forward defending uh, this is what we need and he made a good good job this this uh, game and also the last games so it's it's good and the free kick yeah, was top this uh, situation and uh, important for us, for the whole team then, that we get the result. And uh, yeah, I know this is now seven seven home games now. Um, yeah, it's good. It's it's good to have this feeling in our stadium, to come here from our hotel with the bus and here to then in our locker room to, to have this atmosphere with our supporters, for with our employers, with all the club here. And uh, it's good now. So, But now next week is a game on the road and uh, this is the next opportunity for us now. Um, to, to get these next three points. Next, we go to Gary. Speaking of next week, we're going against a very bad team, of course, with New England. How no, do you it's continue? it's not a bad team. It's well, not a bad team. Okay, well, it's they're sitting at the bottom team. of the table. But um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how do you continue those good vibes going on to the road? Because as you know, going on the road is usually a tougher assignment than playing at home. Yeah, next week is it's a special game. Uh, we had this... Uh, 
at the beginning against Miami the same situation uh, because of the national break. So uh, some some players they they will be with uh, with their national team. So uh, now it's good to have the recovery the next days and uh, then we'll to to train with a small group to to keep the intensity in every training session and to be the focus on in every video meeting and then to prepare very serious, very concentrate um, to the next uh, game now in New England and not to think. Um, or to look um, now every day on, on the table. So it's a good team, very good team, uh, good as well individual players, especially uh, Jill, uh, 10 position. So we have to be ready and uh, we need 100% every week, every day. So it starts on, on Tuesday, the next training session, we need 100%. And then when we get these 100% every day, then we have chances uh, for sure to win. Next one, Eric. Hey, coach. Um, Daniel Adelman seemed after he went away on international break. It took him a little bit to find his form, but the past like three, four games, he's been consistently at a high Top. level. Top. Can, can you talk about how he got back to that form and then where can he go in his development? It seems like he can really, there's more to his game that can expand. Top. Danny Edelman, top. Um, this, I, I agree with you. It's top uh, how he played the, the games, um, the, his performance in training session, his behavior, very professional, and he wants to learn every day, and uh, his uh, improvement is a lot. So uh, we know, all of us know um, his quality, especially against the ball, and uh, he can run, he's physically in a top spot. So um, the next step is for sure then to find in small spaces uh, the, the, the right solution uh, with the ball, um, but in this case he made also Good steps and uh, very important for us. Very important for us with his mentality, with his behavior. It's top, 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 top what he played. Next we go to Sebastian. Congratulations for the victory, coach. In the end of the game, what's uh, bothering you? Because I see you like desperate, <laughs> like yelling like crazy for something, especially after Orlando tried to pull the ball in the, in the box and then you guys tried to reach it out, reach it out of there. What's bothering you in the, in the end? Yeah, because uh, we conceded the goal in Orlando huh? a few weeks ago. This 1-1, uh, I think, this was also in the additional time in the, in the last moment. So, so, and then uh, to keep the concentration, to keep our focus uh, in every situation, how we want to defend. And uh, but this was good. I think it was not biggest chance now for for Orlando in in, in the end of the game, and uh, the whole team. Uh, made a great job, and especially then uh, in our, with our three centre backs in this box defending. Because uh, what we mentioned before the game, a lot of cross situations on the side, and uh, they have then the quality uh, with uh, the strikers, with their wing backs, winger, ten position, with all these guys. And uh, we played now with uh, a new uh, structure, or not a new structure, but with new players in the structure at the end, with uh, Dylan right centre back, Jean centre back, and. Uh, and Aiden on the left center back, and uh, how they defend this was uh, very well. Everyone, we have time for two more questions with Coach. We'll go to Zoom for those last two questions. First, we'll go to Anthony Merced, and then we'll finish up with Daniel Fuerenstein. Anthony, you have the floor. Uh, Coach, Carlos Cornell seemed to be favoring his shoulder, and, and he appeared to be calling for a substitution. It also seemed like he was favoring his shoulder in the game on Wednesday. Is there anything to that? Um, how, how was he feeling after the game? Now today he's very satisfied because uh, of his of the clean sheet, and he was uh, after the game a little bit angry. But this is what I said in the press conference to you: is a good reaction then to be angry when we when you concede a goal as a goalkeeper. But today he's very satisfied and he's in a good mood, and um, so uh, we have to check. But he will be now out with this uh, because of the national team of Paraguay. So they are playing. Now in two weeks, I think they start the cup. So uh, hopefully, it's nothing now with his injury. But uh, I think uh, he can play for Paraguay. And we'll finish up with Dan. Congratulations on the victory, Sandro. If I can ask you, uh, obviously, if you don't want to talk about it, I understand. But you know, the Elise had another hell of a goal. Sadly, wiped out because of a foul call. Uh, did you think it was a foul or not? Which foul? Uh, the Elias goal that got called out. When Manuel's foul. goal got wiped out because he, the referee calls for the foul. And, uh, it's up to you if you wish to answer. It's no foul. <laughs> For me, wasn't but okay. This is the decision of the referee. So if you ask me if it's a foul, then I say for me it was not a foul. 
Coach, thank you for joining us. We appreciate your time. Okay, thank you.